How you doing ladies and gentlemen, Juan here from Switch Watch. I have a Sakuna of Rice and Ruin gameplay footage for you with some commentary, a preview of sorts, as we're not allowed to give an opinion on the game until the embargo ends on the 9th of November. We are however okay to provide some footage of the game and talk about it without offering any opinion, which is always difficult for me when talking about a game as I find it hard not to show my feelings, but I'll play my best poker voice if that's even a thing. I'm going to show you quite a lot of handheld footage too as I think the game does look rather nice in handheld. Now let me fill you in on a few details. Sakuna of Rice and Ruin drops on the Nintendo Switch on the 10th of November and will cost you £34.99 in the UK, $39.99 and in Euros. This game surprisingly was made by just two people and I say surprisingly because of the wealth of mechanics and varied environments in both 2D and 3D which I'll chat to you in a moment. And that's not the only surprise. The other is that the story thus far is mostly told through voice acting. And it's about Sakuna, who's a spoiled goddess, to say the least, walking around the place half drunk like she owns the place with her little sidekick. In any case, she does something that upsets somebody important and ends up banished to an untamed wilderness full of demons with humans which are, of course, she feels way beneath her. So it's time that this spoilt goddess learns a thing or two about life and how to treat people. So what is this game? I said you end up in an untamed land, and that is true. You'll end up having a little house with a plot of land that you need to look after, and there'll be several mouths to feed, so you better get tending to that land and growing crops, because ain't no one going to do it for you. Now, is this another farming sim? You may be thinking so, and you're about to lose interest and click off this video, aren't you? But hang on a minute, because that's just one part of the game. And I think of it as a hub. It's where you come back to rest. You see, there's a day-night cycle, and going out at night is no bueno. In this hub, you'll grow your crops, harvest them, and use them to feed your newfound family. For you, it will give you the boost to your stats before your hunt, and oh boy, are you going to go and hunt. See, now you get to choose a level from your world map. Very few at first, but don't worry, it expands, and it expands fast. The game then turns into an action platformer, which is fast and fluid, with simple mechanics, or so it seems at first, with your light and heavy attack button X and Y, which you can form combos with by pressing a direction on the analog stick, and dependent on the direction will depend on whether your attack is sideways, upwards, or whether you have fights in midair with enemies. Then you have your divine arraignment, adding an extra layer, allowing you to get behind enemies, avoid attacks, and to pull them towards you, as well as using it to reach further platforms. Now, the levels are short, but serve a purpose, as you need to go out, slay demons, and collect resources for your home, or for weapons, seeds for new crops, so you can have a better menu for yourself, giving you better buffs, finding scrolls for new moves, and so on. And with each crop, you get stronger. Go out while it's dusk, and the level may well turn into night, and enemies will become even tougher, meaning you may have to retreat home with your tail between your legs, rest, recover, and head out for another go. Is the game any good? I can't really tell you that, but I'm confident that you, ladies and gents, are a savvy bunch. You'll have to wait for my full review when the embargo ends on the 9th of November. Until then though, if you are new here, or even if you're not and you haven't subbed yet, you may want to hit that sub button and the bell notification so you don't miss our review on this and all the other content that we drop almost daily on the channel from Sunday bargains, Monday physicals, unboxings, gameplay and best of all reviews of everything Nintendo Switch related. My name is Juan Romero, hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments down below whether you think this is a game that's going to be for you, whether you like the look of it or not, and I'll try and reply to most comments that people leave. Take care. I'll see you again very soon on the next one.